Good morning, everybody, and once again, welcome back in today's class. Today we are on the day number 20 of our class, and we were discussing about the request service catalog and the request management. So yesterday we see that what is the request management and what is the catalog? Because that is a combination of these two words here, right? So we understand this particular part and we understand this particular thing as well. Now, in this particular topic, what we're going to be discuss that how this thing happen actually. So the ultimately this request management has been used by the end user. So if I go here and open my PDI and then show you something there. Okay, so what happened that a user, a end user, log in into the portal and here that user will log a request or something, maybe a mobile phone, maybe a laptop, desktop, hardware kind of things. A user will log. So, like if I show you something in the office services, not office, let's say hardware, yes, that's really good. And mobile. I join a new company and there's a policy of my company that I can order a phone as well. Okay, I can order a phone as well. So, my boss says go to this portal and log a request for a phone. I will go here. Let's say I am allowed to take a this one. Now this particular form which you are able to see now is called the catalog item. Same example when you go to the restaurant and you get a menu card. What do you order? You order a item. You never order a category. Did you say to the waiter that, okay, bring all gravies? No, you say only bring this particular stuff for me. This is a category of soup. What do you say? Can you get one tomato soup, please? Or you say, can you bring soups for me? So always remember that last thing which has been ordered is an item only, this thing. So we are here catalog. That is my menu card. Then we have a categories. I have menu card under that menu card. I have a starter. I have a main course. I have a soup. I have a drinks. I have a desserts. And under that I have a one item to be ordered. If you see in this item, the few things which is important is that. This part. These are called variables. And these variables may be vary from item to item. Like when you say, okay, can you bring a uh, tomato soup? Maybe better ask. So, do you want to be a with a with chili without chili, with bread without bread? That is variable. But if you say, can you bring this ice cream? What the variable he asked? Will you take it with chocolate or without chocolate? And with chocolate, vanilla or butterscotch or some other flavor. So these variables did not store in the table of the catalog item. They get stored in some other table. And they're, they're just supporting factor for that particular item. So we will see that how these variables get generated from where we can add these variables. Now, once I create this particular, let's say I'm ordering an iPhone. You can add as many variables. 
and I send order now. And check out. Now once I create this request, it create two records. If I show you here. It create two records at a single point. Number one, it will create create REQ that is called a request. And second, it will create RITM request item number. And under this RITM, we have task that is called SC task, catalog task. Like maybe it's a Diwali. Anish or Vaseem or Sumit thinking to order something good for the house. So what to do? You go and add in your card. Maybe you want to buy a new iron, maybe iron table, a mobile phone or a TV. What to do? Do you order separately these things? No, you just add everything in the card and the last click order now. So what happened? One order number you get it. But in that order number, you have four different items. With, which is going with the four different vendors. And every vendor has its own. Task to be do. Maybe some vendor or some items will be only one task. Some item may require more than. One task. These tasks get generated from the workflow automatically. So what we are going to be say here that this is a process. Of. Request number one, you fill the form which we did just now. Then. If that item required an approval from maybe from your manager or managers managers or maybe department head head of department, then that will go for the approval. Same way that we have in the change, but not with the policies. With the we can define these approvals directly in the flow. Once it has been approved or rejected, if rejected, game over. No further action. But if approved, then a task will be created. So in this case, it is auto approved. If you see here. See, it is auto approved. Sometime happen, it's auto approved. And then you update the task. And once the task get closed, then RITM and then REQ get automatically closed. It's in this the fund is a little different. It's not like an incidental change. If the parent close over the child closed, no. It is reverse. If task get closed, then RITM will get closed automatically. And after that, REQ will be get closed on this particular part. Now in this, the two things are important. Number one, where this record has been generated, created. If I go on this particular part. Yeah, where this particular record we are generating. And second, if I go here just to showcase one more, where this record gets generated. Dono ka alag alag table, both as a separate table. The first word we can say is a foundation. Second one is a transactional. So where it gets stored. So let me open the notepad and tell you. All this item level go in this particular tables. Char tables mein jate hai. Why? Because what we have to be do? We have to first we have to be create this catalog. Pele ye banega. Ye. Fir categories and then item. So three records 
in the three different steps. If I go here and show you. SC underscore catalog. Under that, we have a catalog item. Under one catalog, you can have multiple items as well. Sorry, categories, not items, categories. Show schema map. Standard change catalog item. Yeah. Ye bhi reference kar rahe. Isko kyo? Kyo ki? When we are creating the catalog item, we have to be defined under which catalog it should show. And it must have a category as well. The catalog task bhi gaya. Actually, main, these two tables, these two, one and two, are interrelated with each other. हम देख इसको रहे हैं, but हम बात इसकी भी कर रहे हैं. S underscore task C. क्योंकि it is referencing this particular table. Catalog items. Now if I little bit score more. Item level कहाँ गया? ये देखो, staging and all. तो SC category. So we have mainly three, four tables. Catalog, category, item and order guide. We'll discuss the order guide later on. And then the records got generated, request, request item and catalog task. I go and show you. SC underscore request. Or you can't say task table. Say here. Very interesting topic to be understand because it has six tables to be used, seven tables. See. Task request. And it has been used in the knowledge base. Why? Because a user can request the knowledge base creation from the portal itself. So it has a relationship there as well. And then you can see. Task is there. Right up is there. Request. Now if I need to be create this. <clears throat> sorry, what are the roles there? Then we go to the creation part. What are the roles there? We'll put the role name is starting with the hmm, catalog admin who is managing complete catalogs. Catalog builder because we have another way to create this catalog item as well. Then we have a catalog editor who can say Drafts and versions can updates or review. Catalog item designer who can design this catalog item. Catalog manager at last. So if a user has these role, because this is what we can use for the creation of the records. Sorry, creation of the foundation data specifically. Catalog ka naam kya hoga, category ka naam kya hoga. For that we have to be do this thing. And to work on these records, REQ, RITM, simple. ITL only is required in that particular part. Okay. So there's a lot of lot of things there. Who can read, who can't read these things, but these are the important role here. These. On the high level, I can say. Trick. Now, how we can create it? 
or my customer says atul sorry i don't have that much budget that i can use a portal i want my user should be using the native view only i don't want to be use portal what to do so we have a catalog here as well you go here and search for the catalog under the self service we have a service catalog same thing which you can see on the portal will be available here with the different look and feel i want to order office items okay i want to order zebra soft form same thing i can order it here this is only and only if your customer don't want to be go for the portal but we encourage we recommend our customers to use the portal because portal is a good interface and provide a good better experience user experience to the user okay now if i move little forward what happen in in number of times that anish is in office and anish laptop is creating some problem what anish will do anish will raise the it ticket and he go to it department when he reach there he found oh my god it's too much queue i have to wait for the 2 hours minimum but anish has a meetings as well in the parallel he can't skip the meetings then what to do then service now says don't worry i have a solution for this problem why not you use the concept called the walk up w a l k walk up experience what this mean you raise the prop, you raise your incident you raise your request you raise your issue to the it department and we will email you when your turn is be there maybe two or three minutes or two or three persons before you we will send a email to you mr anish your turn is at this particular time please be in the department it will save you a lot of time and this is called the walk up experience let me see do i have that plug in or not yeah so what we'll do we we'll install a plug in walk up walk up experience once we install this plugin now what happen when when you go to the it department and you say okay your name anish so what they want every everybody is getting digitalization now so they will scan your i card because from your i card they get every information kab ka joining tha kya hai kya is allocation all the things will be there once this this will get installed we will show you something okay so in the walk walk up experience a user demand that i need something then he need to be get in line as i say anish is waiting for the his turn then curious to know when my when my, when my turn will come when my turn will come when my turn will come and then i said okay don't worry i will send you a reminder when your turn is coming then i got a reminder i reached there engineer of the department id department connect with me this solve my issue and they send me a survey to share the updates this is what the overall walk up experience look like but again in the walk up experience important point is that maybe it department available only from 9 to 2 in india location 9 to 4 in the us location 9 to 3 
इन द चाइना लोकेशन पॉसिबल है सो वी कैन कॉन्फिगर दीज थिंग्स इन द वॉकअप एक्सपीरियंस मॉड्यूल आई एम जस्ट वेटिंग फॉर दिस टू बी लोड देन वी कैन पिक दिस अप दैट हाउ इट विल बी लुक लाइक ठीक है any question till this point doubt question clarification no to no good so now let's see where the plugin is getting installed okay it's getting installed now only small portion we are going to be discuss it's not a deep dive we are going to be do here but yes nowadays this walk up experience is used by a lot of customers to ease the life of their it users mainly for the it users and not only for the this one if you if you in india if you go to any store like vodafone store airtel store they also have a walk up experience you go there they say sir can you register or can you um, get an otp for this particular queue you get a token number and you sit there and when your um, turn need to be come they will send a sms to you next is your turn please be ready this is what is the walk up experience has been used by the different way in the market okay let me come here okay taking time so now if we come back on this particular part okay in this as i say there are three things catalog category and item my customer says when when i when i join that project i will ask how many catalogs you have how many categories you have and how many items you have when i talk about the catalog because i need to be optimize it when i talk about the catalog i am talking about the structure and admin part when i talk about the categories i am again talking about the structure but when when i talk about the item i am adding few more things what are the variables included in this particular part how the logic and the validation work this is what in the item and when we go for the fulfillment it is more about approval and task that is what i'm saying these two things work hand in hand in this i tell what variables i need to be defined on the phone as a item a soup as a item ice cream as a item and here i tell that how it can get fulfilled is any approval required or not is any task required or not is any notification required or not this is what is here now what we are going to be do let me show you the walk up experience first it has been done so i can go here and search for the walk up this thing number one walk up has its own portal as well i am not authorized for this one i need this role minimum let me give this role even though i am admin i am still not able to do this particular because it's required a specific role to use to work to do let me add all this role and what specific role we are looking for you will have login okay let save 
now let's go and go portal are yaar ke acha me might be have to be log out let me do name some something else also rocky uh, blocking to me not sure but how it's defined in the background देखो सारा कॉन्फ़िगरेशन शेड्यूल्स बंद है यहां पर पहले द शेड्यूल्स आर सिमिलर व्हिच वी सी इन द ब्लैक आउट विंडोज बिकॉज़ शेड्यूल सेज व्हेन इट इज गेटिंग ओपन व्हेन इट इज गेटिंग क्लोज्ड व्हेन इट इज अवेलेबल व्हेन इट इज नॉट अवेलेबल for the sla purpose as well then we have a walk up location i have only walk up only and only in the india china and japan for the it department rest there is no walk up for the rest it team will come to a place to fix it so we have a santa clara tech launch san diego tech launch two locations and under that we have a schedule as well because as per the schedule it's work right this thing how much the whole time will be there how much the last check in time position notification this is what coming from the cab agenda as well if you remember these things how to get the save name has been saved last name first name how to be save this see so this is what a small point of the this particular thing this is a, just a small thing and even though service now is improving this walk up experience as well but now what is important part for us that how this thing get defined ye catalogs kaise bante hain so here three things important maintain catalog categories and items catalogs and i am creating my own catalog now catalog is lng partial then who is manager important here this person can do and manage the catalog records categories and do the items as well under only this particular catalog if my name is there i can do only this three operation i can work on the catalogs i can update i Uh, categories and update the items which are part of my catalog if i put anish name only anish can do i can't do in this cat in that case so it is important here because this user will get a run time role of the catalog manager then who can be editors for this one to whom you want to be say i want to be say okay able tutor or maybe let's see any users there yes see limited users are there because they have a limited access beth angelian can be the editor of this particular catalog again same thing she can work on the item level as well only and only for this particular catalog then you can put the description you can put the image and then if required you can put the catalog home page as well generally it's we get automatically okay and once i save this abhi bana nahi hai just a small thing now if i go in my portal and i click on this catalog why my catalog is not showing here any idea we have not added we have not added to the category or 
Yes. We did not added any category as of now in my catalog. You go to the restaurant and you get just a blank menu card. Will it solve your purpose? No. So now we will create a category. You can create the category from here as well, or you can go to here maintain category. Click on the new. I want to be create LNG service now. It's a partial. I am creating a category called LNG innings. Under which catalog I want to be show? I want to show under the LNG partial only. Any other location? Maybe physically it's present somewhere? No. That's fine. Then you can add images, icon, headers. That's up to you. It's all cosmetic things. You can you can create, you can do by yourself. Now I go back again here. Still loading it. Not showing. Up to category be again. Now what? Item. Item, yes. Perfectly fine. Now I can create the item either from this way, or I can go to item here as well. Okay. <coughs> but one thing is important. Don't create too many categories under a single catalog. Service now say maximum eight to ten categories are the good. Also, do don't create too many categories and subcategories as well. Because it will impact the user experience. One or two is fine. Like LNG Partshala, training, service now, sales force. Under service now, I can have a admin, development, CSM, ITSM, Agile, and other things will be there. But avoid more than eight or ten categories and one or two subcategories. Okay, now I'm going to be do the item. Sorry, yes, item level. Now we are going. Check. We did LNG part shallow. We did service now. I will put admin. functional under which catalog I want to be show I want to be show LNG which category if this has a more than one category everything will be displayed here but I have only one so it will show like this now what is the state what is the checked out is all out of the box and I am the owner for this one Fulfillment auto auto mission level. You want to do manually, you want to do semi automatic, or you want to do fully automatic. Again, it has little. I guess these fields have been getting um, getting added now only. It has some relevance with the flows. And if you scroll down, I have short description. Admin. Techno functional. This and this. For the time being, forget about this thing. Process engine. Is it changing something? No. Nothing is getting changed. Okay. You want to add some pictures? You can add it. You want to put some pricing? Definitely. I charge. $2,000, 2,000 pound. It can be reoccurring expense, reoccurring 20. If you do one batch, you have to pay 20 pound after two months. And frequency will be weekly, bi-weekly, all the things will be given here. Weekly. And now save it. 
चलो अब बताओ क्यों नहीं आ रहा अब तो कैटलॉग भी है कैटेगरी भी है आइटम भी है पोर्टल एक्टिव एक्टिव नहीं होगा एक्टिव है देखो एक्टिव है नहीं then the flow uh, for request is not there नहीं? नहीं वो भी नहीं चाहिए वो भी है बाई डिफॉल्ट देखो ये था प्रोसेस इंजन शो कर रहा है डिफॉल्ट वाला द रीजन इज बिकॉज माई पोर्टल पेज हैज नो इंफॉर्मेशन दैट आई हैव टू बाइंड अ कैटलॉग विद दिस माई पोर्टल सो इफ आई गो बैक हेयर इन द मेंटेन कैटलॉग एंड ओपन दिस it is asking on which portal page you want to show kahan par map karu main isko for this go to the portals open service portal and then scroll down and mention the catalog sir edit lng partial you want to do on devops or do technical add everything together and now if i go and reload my page see my catalog my category and my id good now the another problem come here atul i don't want to show my catalogs to the other department i don't want that anish can able to see my catalog wasim is in the hr department and there are a few catalogs which wasim don't want to be seen by either sumit or either anish and this concept is called the user criteria what to do for this one go to maintain categories or i am let me see lng training they have been sorry go to item and under that you will find something important available for not available for this is called user criteria same concept we use in the knowledge management as well can contribute can read this is called the user criteria what this mean i can define a way that only if a user has this specific role or from this specific location or from this particular department if i put those things here then only those user is able to see this record see this item in the portal otherwise nobody can do click on the new see i can specify the user's name i can specify the group name i can specify the role name i can specify the company's location department or if required i can do the scripting as well like i say which group only change or incident or opinion studio these groups can see department only it department if you want to put the match all abhi tak kya hai ye or condition hai this or this but if i put this it will be end this group and the department should be it tabhi dikhega otherwise nahi dikhega i can put lng here and submit 
if you're not putting anything in these two, anybody can see. Now, if you put something here, only this users are able to see. That's all. Nobody else can see this particular user criteria. Sorry, uh, catalog item. No, nobody else can see this catalog item other than this user and this department. Clear your picture, thoda sa. Now, if I go back in my item level, because on the item we can do a lot of things. This is my item. Adul, I don't want to show this order now. Submit. It should be submit. Go to the catalog item. Go to the portal settings. Easy option hai. Kuch nahi. You can hide. You want to hide a card? OK, you want to change this name? Submit. You want to hide quantity? Yes. High delivery time? Yes. Save as a draft. This has been introduced by service now in the Washington DC release. What this means that OK, I'm working before I order. I want to be save this record so that tomorrow morning I can come in and order again or order after verifying every detail. So I can do this save as draft as well. In my catalog item. So these are the basic things which you can do all this checkbox. Nothing else. True false, true false, true false. If you do by your end, you will able to learn this particular part. Now one more concept come in the picture. Let's say. I'm here now. I say add to cart. Take same same thing add to cart means what we do in our life in on the e-commerce websites. Coffee with the crying upper. You can't say that. Guess that. Right, something should be there. This is card. This is this is called. Cart layout. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, item. Why are I not able to see everything here? Because I don't have. I'm using this card layout. Target type card preview screen. Yeah. Like the mirror card. Card preview two steps. Use to display and edit the content and then two step to be check out. Are you happy to be check out? Yes, one step. Second step. Ye yahan par defined. Let me open this and show you. See which component I want to be show. Item ka edit. Description, delivery time, quantity, and this. Description, price, quantity, and subtotal. This means that there is something else that is Might be they are using the simple format only, preview screen. So this cart layout decide that how the things will be appearing here, and it's up to you what you want to be do. These are the total components. They will have a subtotal area, frequency, subtotal, total, introductory text. If I go back and show you one more order status something. So total three types. One is the screening part. Second is the on the uh, what I guess visit level, and third, how it will look like in the mobile. Okay, this is shopping cart, shopping cart, and this is wish list. 
ऑप्शन था इसमें विश लिस्ट का सो वी कम टू नो दैट हाउ दिस कार्ड विल बी शोइंग दिस कंपनी कंपोनेंट है कैन यू मेक अ चेंज इन दिस पार्ट आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स नॉट अवेलेबल वी डोंट हैव एनी ऑप्शन टू बी एड मोर कॉलम्स हेयर वी कैन टिक अन टिक बॉक्स हेयर नो नो आई डोंट वॉन्ट दिस थिंग आई डोंट वॉन्ट दिस थिंग बट कैन वी एड मोर नहीं आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स नहीं है बिकॉज वाई यू वॉन्ट टू शो मोर फील्ड हेयर ठीक है ना छोटा सा पोर्शन ठीक है वट यू वॉन्ट यूज वॉन्ट वट इज माई आइटम प्राइस क्या है क्वान्टिटी कितनी ऑर्डर की है इफ दे वॉन्ट टू रिमूव दे कैन रिमूव फ्रॉम हेयर इट सेल्फ ओके एंड नाउ इफ आई जस्ट लिटिल बिट मोर बटन कैन हैव अ डिलीट बटन आई हैव एडिट आइटम बटन आई हैव अ कॉन्ट्री शॉपिंग बटन चूज ऑप्शन बटन एंड चेकआउट बटन दीज इनकी बात हो रही है यह जो यहां पर दिख रहे हैं आपको ये वाले एंड द लास्ट बटन लेबर्स क्या क्या बटन के नाम शो करें डिलीट एडिट कॉन्टिन्यू शॉपिंग चूज ऑप्शन चेकआउट कैन बी मॉडिफाइबल टेक्स्ट नॉर्मल कुछ नहीं है ठीक है दिस इज वॉट द कार्ड बट नाउ द थिंग इज दैट अतुल कैन आई गेट द कार्ड इंडिविजुअल लेवल मतलब ये तो क्या है कि अगर मैं चार आइटम ऐड करूंगा तो चारों को ऐसे ही शो करेगा वो बट आई कैन डिफाइन द लेआउट फॉर द इंडिविजुअल आइटम एज वेल आई डोट टू शो समथिंग आई वॉन्ट टू शो ओनली दिस थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू हाइड दिस पर्टिकुलर फील्ड सो वट आई टू बी डू नाउ आई टू बी गो हेयर एंड गो टू माई मेंटेन आइटम क्योंकि लिंक तो करो इसको किसी के साथ in the user category we see that where the user category has to be defined in the related list but what about the cart how my item will know that i have to be use this particular cart so we'll go here and we'll configure another field here and we call it as a user cart layout Use card layer. Sorry, not user. Use. And save. This is for the individual level you want to do. If you are not using anything, by default system will take the default one. अब यहाँ पे क्या है? Use card layout. Using card layout will override the item specific in the display. तो जो आपको दिख रहा है अगर आपको इसको ओवर एड करना नहीं नहीं मुझे क्वांटिटी नहीं शो करना देन अनटेक्स अरे वाई इट्स नॉट शोइंग अदर पार्ट्स कम ऑन वेट लेट मी एड लेट मी सी फ्यू मोर फील्ड्स आर मिसिंग ये ना बहुत मुझे ऑलवेज बेकार टॉपिक लगता है यार ये बार हाँ देखो नो कार्ड नो ऑर्डर दिस थिंग this there is no validation there is no specific way that if i untick this box then this should become ha ah, dekho ab hai all the ui policies i don't want to show the no card okay i don't want to show the number of number of order number order okay number number order row mujhe ye bhi dikhana नो प्रोसीड चेकआउट मुझे चेकआउट का बटन भी नहीं दिखाना यूजर मस्ट गो बैक टू दईटम देन एबल टू चेकआउट तो मुझे नहीं शो करना ये सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ओवर एड एनी इंफॉर्मेशन विच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स कार्ट ले आउट यू हैव टू बी यूज यूज कार्ट ले आउट ऑप्शन हेयर एंड देन यू कैन टिक अन टिक दिस बॉक्सेस ठीक है just for the better user experience because ho sakta hai ye mujhe chahiye and this is why this is called the individual because if i am doing this because i am doing this this for the admin techno functional it is not going to impact my other catalog items other catalog items will the standard format only but for me but for this particular part i don't want to show these options 
होता है कहीं पर फ्यू आइटम्स पे कुछ ऐसा ऑप्शन नहीं होगा कॉन्टेंट चेकआउट नहीं होगा यू हेट बी गो बैक इन द आइटम एंड टू बाय नाउ नाउ व्हाट नेक्स्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट दीज थिंग्स लेट मी गो एंड ओपन दिस कैटलॉग आइटम वेरिएबल्स अब इसका भी अलग कहानी है क्या कहानी है इसकी स्पेसिफिकली लेट से आई वॉन्ट टू नो दट इफ वसीम इज टेकिंग एडमिशन इन माई आई आई यूज दिस पार्ट ओनली इन माई ट्रेनिंग बिफोर आई गिव एडमिशन टू और अलाउ वसीम टू ज्वाइन माई ट्रेनिंग आई वॉन्ट टू नो फ्यू थिंग्स अब वही है ना मोबाइल यू आर परचेजिंग मोबाइल फोन वट कलर वट रैम वट कैमरा यू नीड दीज आर द वेरिएबल्स so i can create variable here let me create one variable for you it can be different type single line multi line multi choice numeric reference requested for what you want i want let's say multi choice sorry like this what you want qualification or i say okay not this let's say simple text single line text email id i can put annotation specification because this is not the part of this particular stuff this is part of the admin that how we can create variables and all things but i am creating it because i want to show you something on that particular part i can make read only mandatory hidden everything here and i can click on the submit my variable get generated now if you go and reload this page are kya hua let me see oh i am in the cards see ab ye ye bhi dekho kaise what we are doing now we should we are in the card now we should not we should be in the item level actually catalog even though i can go and search here as well lng lng parshala and under that are ya oh is standard change ado ho lng patshala training and this email id is there now what i'm going to be discuss let's say i'm putting email id a dot b at the rate c dot com and order now check out and now i am a agent service desk agent let me open this in this window theek hai i am a service desk agent this record get generated and assigned to me we will discuss about the approval and everything we discuss theek hai user mention the email id दिख रहा है आपको यहां पे फॉर्म पे कहा से आ रहा है ये दीज आर द वेरिएबल्स आई से दीज आर द वेरिएबल्स हाउ इट इज बी अपीरिंग इन द रिक्वेस्ट आइट सॉरी यस आइटम फॉर्म लेवल रिक्वेस्ट आइटम लेवल दिस कंसेप्ट इज कॉल्ड द वी एडिटर दिस कॉल द वी editor v editor will tell that you want to show the variables on the request item and the task level or not ab bhai umit place a order for the iphone 
but how the packaging team will know that what iPhone need to be packed? They need to know model, they need to know color, they need to know the RAM. At least these three things they know because this is, these are three things only we are asking user to be enter. So I have to be show them in the background that guys these things are there. Please go and pick up that model which is spe specifying these three conditions. How this this thing work? VI editor. Do we have any kind of a field here? Let's see. Configure. Form layout. Configure form layout. Hmm. Do we have something called V V editor? यहाँ तो कुछ नहीं है. तो फिर कहाँ पर है अगर यहाँ पे नहीं है तो? Anybody has an idea? Hmm? बताइए. Form design. कहाँ पे? Form design. नहीं form design form layout एक ही चीज़ है यार. Nothing matter. सोचो कहाँ है? मुझे तो नहीं पता कहाँ पर है. यहाँ पर भी कहीं नहीं है ऑप्शन नहीं है कुछ. बोला बाबू कहाँ पर है ये? चलो दोबारा चलते हैं यहाँ पे. Let's see. Let's search with something called formatter. नहीं ये भी नहीं है. Regulating formatter activities नहीं ये भी नहीं चाहिए. फिर कहाँ से आएगा ये? कहीं तो कहीं तो define होगा ना definitely ये. If it is coming on this level variables, from where it is be coming? पहले तो नहीं था. हमने जैसे ही वेरिएबल डाला ये आ गया देखना कहां से आता है ये अदरवाइज विल डिस्कस ऑन मंडे नाउ द वन थिंग मोर अतुल कैन आई ऐड मोर वेरिएबल्स हियर यस यू कैन ऐड कैन आई हाइड अ फ्यू वेरिएबल्स ऑन सम कंडीशंस यस वी कैन हाइड if a user location is Japan, I don't want to be asked for the email ID. How these things can be done? In the admin part, in the service now admin part, we have a concept called the UI policy. Now we have a concept called the catalog UI policies. Similar concept, but it will it is only it work only and only in the catalog items. New. But what are the change here? Pay the hand now. Conditions you can put. But this is important. Do you want to show that hidden field on the catalog task as well? Yes, if portal pe dikha ke khatam karna. Backend user can see everything. होता ना कई बार आई एम आस्किंग आई एम डोंट आई एम नॉट आस्किंग यूजर टू बी पुट द ईमेल डू यू वांट टू हाइड दैट पर्टिकुलर फील्ड फॉर द एजेंट्स एज वेल देन यू कैन से अप्लाइज ऑन द कैटलॉग टास्क और ऑन द आरएटीएम लेवल एज वेल मींस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस थिंग आई वांट टू बी हाइड दिस फील्ड फ्रॉम माय ऑल द यूजर्स इफ लोकेशन इज जापान 
it work with this UI policies. And I can make a tick. Actually, this is called the VI editor. Sorry, not VI, it's called VI editor. If you want to show and hide the fields which you are showing or hiding at the portal level, you want to do the same thing for the catalog task or the item level, you can do via UI policies only. But remember, you have to do this tick box. If I hide this, it will not show on the catalog task. Sorry, if I untick this, it means everything will be shown on the catalog task level. All the variables will be shown on the catalog task level. But if I tick this, it means this UI policy will be applicable on the catalog task level as well. Clear over concept here? Atul, here the concept of stock is also there. For the stock, you have to be linking with the stock room. To check that before any user ordering an item, you want to check the stock, right? Yes. Yes, that can be done, but that is again going on the product model and everything should be there. From the stock room, it have to be linking. No direct validation is there. You have to build your own validation on that particular part. So, for example, Amazon is there, right? So, hmm. uh, how they are uh, they are managing their warehouse uh, stock? So, th that's what I was. So, wondering. so they they have linked everything together. Before a user click on the order now, a job run in the background, which go in their particular stock room, and check it. Amazon is very big example, yeah, very big example yeah, Amazon. But the fundamental is same. They have they so everything which they are be you are be ordering, they are saving this as a CI. Or maybe definitely as a CI, not an asset. And then when you select that item in the background, that CI go in the table. In the stock room, check how many quantities are there. If only two quantities, you get a message. Only two are the left. This is doable part, definitely. It is a doable part. But need detail configuration to be do this particular area. In our service uh, portal perspective, our catalog item perspective, there's a no validation at all. No, zero validation. But we have a task in the background. There's a few out of the box flows, workflows which have a task to go and check in the stock room first. So you can do this particular part. Now, one thing which is which nobody asked me. We created the variable. And in the side window, we have a variable set as well. What does this mean? This means if I want to use few variables in my all the form, let's say Anish and Vaseem open a restaurant, they get print of their menu card, name, contact number or the email ID. Now tomorrow if they open the new branch of that particular restaurant. What they will do? They will go to the this card print and say boss just change the address. Rest will be same. This is called variable set. Variable set means a set of few variables which I want to be used in each and every catalog item. Reusable have up kill bar 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 up bar 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 like few of the variable set has been given by service now. They will see IT to IT. Now, if I add to add it, I'll show you something. Say 
Sí. Okay. And now let me go back here and search for the admin techno. अब देखो कितने सारे वेरिएबल अपने आप आ गए वाई बिकॉज आई जस्ट एडिट फोर वेरिएबल सेट बट इन ईच वेरिएबल सेट देर फ्यू वेरिएबल्स इसमें दो हैं तीन वेरिएबल है इसमें कुछ वेरिएबल्स हैं इसमें कुछ वेरिएबल इसमें कुछ वेरिएबल है द पर्पज इज टू री यूज अगेन एंड अगेन एंड इन दैट वन थिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट when you are using the variable set there can be two type single row and multiple row multi row single row is this one jahan par aap ek time mein sirf ek hi value dal sakte hain multi row is called mrvs multi row variable set i said anish can you create a excel sheet where i want the information about all teammates their contact number email address and their postal code now what anish will do anish will create one excel sheet and record everybody or anish will create multiple excel sheets to record multi to everybody's record to kya be holi baatein kar rahe ho definitely single excel sheet i'll create the columns and add, and start adding this particular part that is called MRVS multi row variable set. I am just giving the definition because how to create, how to use that is part of the admin here in the admin training. Now one more stuff before I close for today's uh, part. Huh. One more stuff which is be there is the record producer. We see that thing right. in the incident management we see the record producer you can go here and you can mention create incident let's see on this record producer i have a few variables other than this as well and i want to record that variable on my incident form I want to record that variable in my incident form. अभी तो क्या है Urgency को I map with the urgency field. इसको I map with the short description field. If I ask a user how long you are facing this issue, there is a no field exists in the service in the incident table which can capture this information. Then how you going to be add that? So for this, if I go to incident. let me do one thing let me use this record producer okay and add a new variable check so that i can show you because the way we can show the variables on the catalog task or catalog item level the same way we can show the variables in the incident as well new map to field i'm not taking it single line text that's fine let me put here in and submit go here reload this page again information A dot B dot at the rate dot com urgency is two. This is LNG and M submit. So the process same. Which I have mentioned in my check here. That's all similar. Now let me open this incident. now 
वसीम इज माई सर्विडस एजेंट वसीम कह रहे यार बाकी तो ठीक है इसमें ईमेल आईडी कहा है जिससे मुझे बात करनी है वो तो है नहीं क्योंकि कहीं कैप्चर नहीं हो रहा वो सो टू ब्रिंग दैट इंफॉर्मेशन आई हैव टू बी एड द इंसिडेंट वेरिएबल फॉर मैटर हेयर ऑन फिग फॉर्म ले आउट एंड आई विल सर्च फॉर द इंसिडेंट वेरिएबल सॉरी नॉट फॉर्मेट हा दिस वन राइट एंड आई विल एड लिटल बिट ठीक है कंटेक्चुअल सर्च के बाद रख लेते हैं एंड सेव एंड नाउ यू कैन सी ऑल द वेरिएबल सेव दिस इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड वी एडिटर फॉर इंसिडेंट रिक्वेस्ट एंड टास्क वाला अपने आप आता है वो बट फॉर दिस वी हैव टू बी पुट इट स्पेसिफिकली क्लियर हो गया काम एवरीबडी डाउट क्वेश्चन क्लैरिफिकेशन यार कुछ तो पूछो नो डाउट नहीं अरे दिस इज द वन ऑफ द सिंपलेस्ट टॉपिक इन सर्विस नाउ इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड अभी तो हम हैवी तक पहुंचे नहीं इसके ऑन मंडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑर्डर गाइड्स एंड दिस स्टेट मूवमेंट ये वाला काम जो रह गया मेन ये पिक्चर तो भी मंडे को होगी पूरी Mainly, this thing has been left now. We have done this particular part. ये देखिए हमने flows हमने एक बार देखने हैं. We have done this particular part. User got it done. Record producer will get order got it. We will start on Monday. And content item. अभी है दो दिन का और इसमें तो. चार दिन का तो टारगेट है तीन से चार दिन का टारगेट है इसका तो सो विल टेक सम टाइम बट इट विल डू एबल बहुत इजी टॉपिक है दिस इज द मोस्ट इजी टॉपिक सब बना बना यू हैव टू जस्ट यूज इट नथिंग एल्स ठीक है एनी लास्ट क्वेश्चन बिफोर आई क्लोज द रिकॉर्डिंग ओके लेट मी स्टॉप रिकॉर्डिंग